The interim assessments are a beneficial resource for our teachers because they allow them to look at the data right away. It's not only helping our student achievement within our building, it's also helping our climate of our building. And we're seeing those powerful conversations that are sparking meaningful conversations and learning within the classroom, and it's just, it's wonderful. I started implementing the interims in my classroom on kind of a smaller scale. I started with what would be called vocabulary language usage um, because I knew at that point as soon as the kids were done taking that assessment, we would see their results immediately. Once they did that and got to see their results, they were extremely excited. And then they were asking, can we do this again? Because I want to see if I can jump the, to the next color or I want to see how much higher I can go. So it created a lot of excitement in the kids. We'll use the collective data to um, compare how the students did at the beginning of the year compared to how they're done after we've addressed a specific unit. Most visibly what we'll do at that point is we'll look at specific questions where we see a large amount of growth or a specific question where we may have scored lower than we should have and we can look and address those individual issues. I think it also helps them be more mindful in the way that they're doing their answers even in their everyday work. Some advice I'd give new teachers would be use the interim often and early so you can receive the data and some of the students will surprise you with some of the responses and so it's always good to know your students. The digital library has a unique aspect in that we can incorporate how students have performed on a specific interim and it will help you to correlate what resources might be appropriate to use at that point. So after I've given a specific one, if my students have scored lower than I expected, then the digital library is going to match me up with some materials that might be more appropriate for students that didn't display a full understanding. If more of my students are kind of in the middle or even on the upper end, but I still want to increase that depth of knowledge, then the digital library has some more rigorous material that I can apply as well. The teachers have used the digital library as a resource um, throughout their curriculum. They're going into the digital library and they're figuring out where pieces of the digital library can help infuse and continue with that student achievement to push it to the next level. What's really nice about the digital library is they're very engaging um, and thorough lessons from educators who have, are invested and dedicated uh, into the work. I think that the fact that the resources were created by other teachers gives it more credibility for me as a teacher. I understand that they've tried them, they've seen gains, they've seen success, and so it isn't, it's first-hand experience is what it is. I would tell a school who's interested in running the interims um, to look on the Smarter Balance website. There's a lot of tools there, there's a lot of tutorials, videos, how to get started. It's very user friendly. Not only is it free, but it's easy and the results are there.